G'day guys, welcome back again. I'm going to do another one of the easy peasy cells today uh, because I've got a little bit of paint left over from a workshop that I did this morning. Uh, one of the lovely ladies used these colours and there's some paints left over. So I'll be using them. I don't want them to go to waste. So these are global paints, the ones that I usually use. This one's raw sienna. Um, that's it in there. It's quite a thick paint, kind of like yogurt. If you're not in Australia and you can't get global, the closest thing I think would be um, Liquitex Basics. They're a little bit thicker. So you might have to add just a touch more Floetrol. I don't add any water when I'm pouring. I just use Floetrol and paint. So this mix is three parts Floetrol to one part global paint. And I've got some white, a little bit of gold, some black, some burnt sienna, uh, raw sienna and uh, burnt sienna, the dark brown. Okay, and uh, they've got, there's a little bit of coconut milk hair serum in each. A few drops in each cup, except for the white. So, easy peasy cells. Uh, today this is a 30 by centimeter card, 12 by 16 inch great to practice on. You can write on the back what you've done, the ratios you've used and then when you've got a whole heap of them you can keep them in a pile, you can frame them. Really easy to use. Okay so first thing I'm going to do is just pour the paint out into stripes. When you've added, added your silicone don't mix it too much. You want to break up all your lovely cells that you've you're going to create with your silicone. So just three stirs with your stir stick is usually plenty. Don't get carried away and stir and stir and stir. You'll break up the silicone. You'll end up with tiny cells. Right, try for light dark, light dark. You don't need to cover the canvas or the card in paint. Try and leave little stripes between because we're going to tilt and um, you're just going to waste paint if you've got too much paint on there. I say, but then I always seem to put more paint on and tilt it all off. A little bit of gold. Some black. I like the black next to the gold. If you're swiping, you need to have a light colour next to a dark colour. Trying to swipe a light colour over a light colour just won't work. Won't have the definition there. Need to have light next to dark, dark over light. Okay, so that's plenty of paint. Now I'm just going to tilt this, hang on to one corner. This is a cake cooling tray. A lot of paint on there. Just going to tilt it so that it's off and covers all our little edges. If you lose, if you leave too much paint on your canvas, once you've done your design, um, the paint will keep moving and you'll lose all your design. Your cells will all stretch out of shape. It might look great when you've done it and you'll come back a few hours later or the next day and they've all stretched out of shape. That's because your paint's too thick on the canvas and it's moved. So you need to tilt it off. Or don't put too much on there in the first place. But once you tilt like this and you can see that it's flowing really easily, it's a good indication that you've got too much on there. And you need to tilt some off. 
go around, right down to the side, get this off. Probably didn't need to put so much on. Try and leave some spaces when you're pouring your paint on. You don't have to cover the whole canvas. You're going to cover it when you tilt. Back the other way just to cover the bottom. Make sure you hang on to your corners or your whole card will slide off. You can see where the paint is at the moment. It's up here. It's moving quite well still. It's still quite thick. It's kind of folding over the other paint so you know that it's too thick. You've got too much on there. Get rid of it. You won't end up with a good painting afterwards. Cover the corner. I don't usually use these colours, not really my colours. I don't want to waste them. The lady that did do these colours though, they look really pretty. And she swiped them all. It's gorgeous. Get that out of the holes. Wipe my hands. Okay, so we're ready to swipe. Where the paints have crossed over onto each other, there's already cells coming up. And as I've said before, the paint moves together, mixes together, and as it does that, it creates the cells. So you need the movement of the paint, and you need the swiping, and that moves the paint. That's what you need to create cells. If you're not doing that, you won't get cells. Just using these little sample paint chip cards from the hardware store. Great for swiping. So as I said, you need dark swipe over light. So black over the brown, white over the darks to make your swipe. So try to use a dark and a light with your swipes. Or if you're only going to swipe with a dark, make sure all your others are lighter. So. Start with the black, go up here, I'm going to bring it down over the brown and into the white. So just touch the black, I'm not going to put any pressure on it. Just drag it down. And cells straight away. Don't need to torch. They just appear. And that's the rubbing of the paint, creating the cells. So here we've got a white cell with a brown in the middle, which is really pretty. I like the two-tone cells. So I'm going to work my way across this way and then I'll turn it around and then do a little bit that way. So here, again, dark across into this gold. When the gold dries, it'll look really pretty. It just looks beige at the moment, but it is metallic gold. Don't worry if you miss a bit like that, it's okay. It's nice to have a little bit of negative space. So like I'm not going to swipe over that bit of brown there. I like that. It's somewhere for the eye to rest. You don't want just all cells, it's too much. When your card gets dirty, use the other side or get another one. You don't want to put that brown paint into your white there. So use the other side. So now I'm going to swipe with the white. I don't want to do that because that's not going to mix the colours. I want to do that and bring that white around into the other colours. It's because I want white over the other colours. Here I want black over the other colours. And that's how you get your lacing. If you just did it straight down like that, the black's not going to cross over into the brown. It's just going to go straight down on top of each other. So you're not going to get a good effect. Now that's dirty. Throw that one, get a new one. See this lovely lacing that's popped up here. White in all the colours, sorry, silicone in all the colours except the white. Now here, what will we do here? 
I've got white on the top there, so over here I'm going to do black over the top. I'm going to grab the black, I'm going to bring it down. It's fine to have a little bit of a movement. I'm trying to keep my linear effect, so I don't want to swipe that way. But you can if you want to, you can swipe all directions. I'm trying to keep my linear look. So I'm just trying to swipe down with a little bit of a curve there, just for some interest. You don't need to push down hard, just need to go drag lightly over the top. You don't want bald spots. Now over here, I'm going to get the gold and I'm going to bring it down over the black. I'm going to keep that little bit of white there. It's a nice negative space. Try and keep a little bit of colour between all your swipes, just for some negative space. Like that. So that's the gold over the black. The gold over the brown here hasn't done terribly much, but it looks really pretty there over the black. So that's it for that side. I'm going to turn it around and then I can swipe back down again because you don't want all that there. It's a bit boring to have such a big block of colour. Right. Where next? We have to learn when to stop. So don't keep going and going and going. You don't want to swipe over what you've already created and you do want to keep a little bit of negative space. So don't go overboard. We have to learn when to stop. And I'm going to put a little bit of brown just in here. Brown seems to have thickened up a bit. And I'm going to swipe the black and the brown down over this raw sienna. Actually, I'll put a touch more black there on the corner. You can always add colour if you need to, like I'm doing. Now this is a bit big, this card. I only want the corner. And I don't want to put half on the card because I'm going to change my pressure. I'll be pushing too much on the side, so just tear it in half. Pretty black over the brown, very nice. A bit too much gold there for my liking. Um, where else? Where else? Put a little bit of black there. I'm going to swipe the black down over the gold. As I said, dark over light, light over dark will work best. I'm going to tear this in half. And get that little bit of black to come over the gold. Don't start swiping in the middle because you'll see a line. Always start at the top where you're not going to see the line. And off. All right. And where next? Everyone's saying, no more, no more, a little bit more. Maybe this bit here, where the gold meets the black, just to break up that edge there. A little bit there, I'll start in the black. I can start there because I'm not change. I'm not starting halfway through, you're not going to see a line across there. I'm starting in the black and it's all black, so that's okay. Mm, that didn't really do much. There we go. Brought a bit of that brown with it. That looks better. Okay, now I still want to change this bit of white here. A little bit too much white there. And we'll just do that. Bring it round. There we go. How's that looking? Lots of cells here, lacing here, more lacing there. Actually, there's probably a bit too much black there. I might just change that, put a little bit of white there. 
and a little bit of raw sienna underneath it. And one more swipe along this edge here, just so it's not so black. Right, I think that's done. So that wasn't too hard, was it? Got lots of cells. I didn't have to worry about tilting afterwards to keep my cells. I don't have to move it now. The cells are there. It's beautiful. We've got cells, we've got lacing, we've got negative space. You've got everything you need without the hassle. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Easy peasy cells. I will be back with another one another day. So, I'll see you later. I'll go around and zoom in so that you can have a look. And I've just seen one more spot that I want to do. Just there. <laughs> it's so hard not knowing when to stop. We have to learn to back away. Okay, done.